Good morning everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. For today's video, we will be knowing on how to find the base. But before anything else, please do subscribe to Alan Medino YouTube channel and together, we teach simply. Before we are going to learn on how to get the percentage of a certain number, let's try to define first these words. First is the rate. When we talk about the rate, it is the percent. Or kung makikita natin later, yung mga number na sinusundan ng percent na sign, yun ay ang ating rate. Next, percentage. The result obtained when a number is multiplied by a percent. Ito yung resulta na makukuha natin kung ang isang number ay minultiply natin sa isang percent. At ang pangatlo ay ang base. The base is the amount you are taking a percent of. Ito yung amount kung saan kinukuhanan mo siya ng percent. And take note, ito yung number na sumusunod sa, num sa word na of parate. Now, I will be giving you an example. 40% of 60 is 24. So this is the percent sentence in which 40 is our rate. Sabi ko kanina, yung number na may percentage sign, automatically siya ang rate. And then 60 is our base. Bakit siya tinawag na base? Kasi siya yung pagkukunan ng percent. Again, yung original number na pagkukunan ng how many percent ay tinatawag nating base. And take note, palagi siyang sumusunod sa, na, sa word na off. And then, our 24 is our percentage. Or siya ang kinalabasan pag minultiply natin yung rate at saka yung base. So again, meron na tayong rate, meron na tayong base, at meron na tayong percentage. Now, Look at this other example. 20% of 30 is 6. Again, 20% of 30 is 6. Now, 20% is our rate. And then, 30% is our base. And 6 is the percentage. So, ulitin ko, in this example, 20% is our rate. 30 is our base and 6 is our percentage. Ngayon, yung rate ay yung number na may percent. Tandaan nyo yan lagi. Yung may percent, yun siya ang tatawagin nating rate. In this example, yung 20, yung may percent, therefore 20% is our rate. Now, yung base ay yung number na palaging sumusunod kay off. So, off. 30. So, nauna si off, yung sumunod sa kanya na number ay automatically is our base. Or, itong base, ito yung number na pagkukunan natin kung gaano karami ang percent. And then, our percentage, yun yung result ni rate times base. So, si rate at saka si base, minultiply natin, yung result nila ay tatawagin nating percentage. Now, how are we going to solve if one of the three is missing? Paano natin isosolve kung isa sa tatlo ay nawawala? So, meron tayong tatlong formula. Halimbawa, kung si percentage ang nawala, this is our formula. P is percentage equals base times rate. Again, kung mawawala si percentage, this is our formula. Percentage equals base times rate. Now, if si base naman ang mawawala, this is our formula. Base is equals to percentage divided by rate. And if mawawala si rate, ito ang formula. Rate is equals to percentage divided by base. Okay, in this case, Dapat merong dalawang given at isa lang ang dapat mawala para ma-solve natin. Uulitin natin, if si percentage ang wala, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin. Kung si base naman ang mawawala or hahanapin natin ang base, ito yung formula ang gagamitin natin. At kapag si rate naman ang nawala, this is the formula that we will be using. With the same steps, we are going to find the base for this problem. 
20 is 10% of what number? So, pareho pa rin ang steps. First, dapat alam natin kung ano yung given at ano yung missing. Number two, we have to determine what formula is going to be used with what is missing. And number three, isusolve natin ang formula. For this problem, 20 is 10% of what number? So, ito yung mga given natin. Ang rate natin or yung may percentage sign ay 10. So, automatically, our rate is 10%. Ang percentage natin is 20. And then, our base is missing. Ano ang number na pagkukunan natin ng 10%. So, Basing on the three formula, so itong pangalawang formula ang gagamitin natin since base is missing. So, base is equals to percentage divided by the rate. For 20% or 20 is 10% of what number? The formula to be used is B is equals to percentage divided by the rate. So, Ito na yung formula na gagamitin natin since si base ang missing sa ating numbers. So, base is equals to percent which is 20 and then divided by our rate which is 10%. So, kung nakikita natin, 20 is 10% off. What number? Walang sumunod na number sa word na off. Therefore, sabi ko kanina, kung base ang ating hahanapin, dapat sumusunod siya sa Sa, sa word na off. Since walang number na sumunod sa off, so si base ang ating missing. So, base is equals to 20 divided by 10%. So, we have to convert the percentage into decimal by moving two spaces to the left. So, 1, 2 from 10% magiging 0.10. So, 20 divided by 0.10 is equals to 200. Therefore, 20 is 10 percent of 200. For another example, example number 2, 10 is 50 percent of what? So, base is equals to percentage divided by the rate. So, base is 10 divided by 50 percent. Let's convert it to become decimal by moving 2 decimal places to the left. So, 50% maging 0.50. So, 10 divided by 0 0.50 is equals to 20. So, another example, 27 is 30% of what number? So, base is percentage divided by rate. Base is 27 divided by 30%. Again, let's convert it to decimal. 30% magiging 0 0.30. So, 27 divided by 0 0.30 is equals to the base is 90%. Don't forget that in solving or in formula, the formula in finding the base should always be base equals percentage divided by the rate. Thank you so much for watching Finding Base on the Alamadino YouTube channel. Together, let's teach simply.